The AFP is reporting on some rather pathetic news coming from Iran. They say, quote, Hairstyles of a spiky and unorthodox nature have reportedly been banned in Iran because they imply devil worship, while tattoos and other male bodily adornments also have been outlawed. <laughs> Alright, so... Think about how many ways in which I'm illegal. I don't know if they would consider this spiky, because it's not spiky all over, but like it's got the, I got the little like ski slope going, you know, and it's a little spiky in the front. Do I get like a ticket as opposed to jail time? Is that how that works? Now, I've always had piercings, so usually I have two and I just got one right now, but does that mean I worship the devil? I didn't know I worship the devil. It's nice to finally learn these things. I got tattoos all on my arms and on my back. Do I get... What's the punishment? Please don't tell me it's death. Please do not tell me it's death. But just the fact we're even having this conversation, man. We're having this conversation and it's 2015. And this is new. It's not like, hey, it's some old fucking statute that was written down and whatever. It's still there, but they don't really enforce it. This is new. This is new. They say, quote, Jagged haircuts, I like that term, have become fashionable among all strata of Iran's youthful population in recent years, but have divided opinion and been deemed by the authorities as Western and un-Islamic. And of course, as we all know, things that are Western and un-Islamic, by definition, must be bad. Devil-worshipping hairstyles are now forbidden, said Mustafa Govahi, the head of Iran's Barber's Union, any shop that cuts hair in the devil-worshipping style will be harshly dealt with and their license revoked, such as, such a style violates the Islamic system's regulations. Now, I should also mention that also banned are tweezed eyebrows among men. You know why? I, I have an ironic takeaway from this. I actually like this story. You want to know why? Because the, the majority of the young people in Iran... This is going to be their response when they hear this. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's cute. The, I think, I honestly think they look at this like we would look at it if Pat Robertson was president in America and he started talking about how women need to get their ass back in the kitchen or something like that. Right? Like people would be like, come on, old man, move along. I think they look at this like this is for the young people of Iran. They're like, this isn't even my dad's generation. This is like my grandfather's generation. This is the people who we don't agree with, man. We don't agree with. And for anybody who knows anything about Iran in general, the people of Iran are actually relatively secular for the region. So to have the religious government basically say, oh, we're banning anything that might get a guy laid, the guys are going to be like, Fuck off. How about that? I'm telling you, man, they're biting off more than they can chew here. You know, they're they're pushing these guys, these people in a corner, and they don't want to be there, right? So I actually think this is going to have a backlash effect. There's been a lot of studies that have come out that have said that the rise of atheism and agnosticism and secularism in general in America is directly tied to that big religious wave in the 1970s and 1980s when we had the evangelical Christian movement and Pat Robertson, John Hagee, you know, all these big-time pastors that rose up and got tremendous followings. And it, it was a direct backlash to seeing these uber-religious people trying to control our lives. Well, now that's going on in Iran. Now, granted, they may be further back in the process, and stuff like this is a setback, but this is going to lead to a backlash. Believe me, if you're fighting a battle against, you know, uh, secular attempts towards individualism, and attempts for people to... Essentially, it's peacocking. Keep it real, man. I, why do I gel my hair every day? Uh, I wouldn't... If it was just dudes in the audience, I wouldn't be doing it. There's a lot of women out there. Maybe I'm trying to impress a little bit, right? Anything we... Whether it's tattoos or piercings or this or that, these are all... It's peacocking. It's, hey, look at me. I'm slightly different. Um, I hope you think I'm attractive and... Don't you want to sleep with me? It's the same thing here. It's the same thing in Iran. It's the same thing everywhere else. So when you tell... Men specifically, and they've been telling women this for a long time as well, sorry, but you, I, we are going to try to prevent you from being an individual and going to try to prevent you from looking better in an attempt to get laid. Well, fuck, they're not going to take that because sex is hardwired in our nature. The need to, to, you know, 
get pleasure in that way is the most human thing. It's the most human thing you can feel and you can do. So you try to put a lid on that, ooh, it ain't gonna work, man. People are gonna fight back, they're gonna fire back, and you're fighting a losing battle. So it's only a matter of time, you're gonna make it so that there's a true backlash, and hopefully, and I think they will with time, the secular people will win. And you'll have a system where, not just in Iran, but in more places all around the world, you'll have this true embrace of more secular values, because secular values really mirror the human condition much more.